from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Welcome back. Well, hopefully everyone had a nice weekend. Thankfully, we got back to sunny skies this afternoon. Now it's going to stay nice for another day tomorrow. Very seasonal right where we should be for the time of year, but a little bit of a change in the pattern by Tuesday. Showers and storms back in the picture and with that a heavy rainfall threat and the potential for some severe weather right now looks like the second half of Tuesday, more so Tuesday evening and then thereafter we'll start to resume our regular late January uh, weather pattern. So we'll get into it all in just a second, but first here's the upper level pattern and we are watching our next weather maker taking shape out west and that's going to continue to dig and progress eastward here over the next 24 to 48 hours. And again, that's going to be the culprit for helping to generate those showers and storms come Tuesday. Now in the short term, no major issues. Quiet out there tonight. Clear, chilly conditions. Most of us in the upper 30s by tomorrow morning. Some mid 30s possible, especially across northern portions of Acadiana. So keep that in mind. Make sure you have those jackets and coats ready to go out the door. First thing tomorrow morning. Otherwise, wall to wall sunshine throughout the day. It's going to be a beautiful one for sure. Temperatures cool and comfortable. Upper 50s to right around 60 degrees. So again, right where we should be for the time of year. Uh, northeasterly winds. I uh, will say at around 6 to 12 miles per hour, but clouds returning tomorrow night into our Tuesday morning. So not quite as cold, but still uh, at least a light jacket there on Tuesday morning, low to mid 40s. Few showers throughout the day on Tuesday, but I think best rain chances hold off until late Tuesday afternoon, probably more so as we head into Tuesday evening. But out ahead of this storm system, it's going to be quite windy, sustained out of the southeast 20 to 30 miles per hour, but gust at times exceeding uh, 40 miles per hour. So something to keep in mind uh, and then here we go line of showers and storms approaching there uh, again Tuesday evening looks like the time frame as of this point anywhere between about seven or nine o'clock in the evening bringing some heavy downpours and again some of these storms on the strong to perhaps severe side and then will quickly dry out uh, as Tuesday night wears on now again there is going to be a severe weather threat with this system looking ahead to Tuesday all of Acadiana already under a marginal to slight risk for severe storms. So that's a level one and two out of five respectively. And uh, again, uh, we're going to have the uh, uh, the dynamics in place aloft, but at the surface, or at the ground level, one limiting factor likely going to be that stable marine layer. Uh, so instability and sufficient uh, moisture transport to the north appears that it could be lacking at, le at least just a bit. So that would be some good news, but still we'll have to monitor the trends over the next 24 to 48 hours. Again, that's just the severe weather side of things. On the other side, we're going to be looking at some heavy rainfall. I think most of us pick up anywhere from around one to upwards of three plus inches. And again, that's going to fall in a pretty uh, short period of time. So with that being said, said the Weather Prediction Center already has all of Acadiana under a slight risk for excessive rainfall. So wouldn't be surprised if we see at least a few flash flood warnings that get going there late on Tuesday. So again, something we'll keep an eye on here over the next couple of days. But in the short term, uh, no major issues. Again, uh, chilly to cold tonight, mid to upper 30s for those low temperatures. That's where we're going to start the day tomorrow. We're in the upper 50s to near 60 degrees there uh, for the afternoon hours under plenty of sunshine, low to mid 40s into Tuesday morning and then Tuesday afternoon uh, as we start to see some warmer air moving in that's going to push our high temperatures into the mid and even upper 60s in spots as those showers and storms start to uh, push on through 37 your projected low tonight at least here in Lafayette slightly colder outlying areas and to the north for tomorrow again it's going to be a beautiful January day wall to wall sunshine will go near 60 for that projected high temperature winds coming out of uh, the northeast at around we'll say 6 to 12 miles per hour. 100% on the rain chance there on Tuesday. Yes, but won't be raining all day long. That's mainly for the second half of the day and heading into Tuesday evening. Again, heavy rainfall threat and the potential for some severe storms. So we'll keep an eye on it here over the next couple of days. Thereafter, some much nicer and seasonable weather for the remainder of the week with the high temperatures in the 50s, overnight lows in the 30s and 40s. Well, that's a look at weather for now, but stay with us. We're going to have more after the break. 